Hey, this is Jeff Bat with Learning Dojo, and welcome to this training on how to create a trigger listening for a variable between two different numbers. So we're not specifically looking for greater than or equal to numbers. We're looking for a range of numbers. And now this is a feature that has been added to a later version of 360. I'm not sure exactly when it came out, but it's a it's an awesome option to be able to get, okay, between this range of numbers, I want to do something. So to set this up, I have a slider that basically the slider itself goes from 0 to 10. And so as I slide this up, it'll adjust the variable of happiness level and it will you know, go up incrementally and it will say one, two, three, four, and so on uh, up to 10. But I don't wanna have 10 different states. I want to adjust this guy and based off of certain ranges, I want to have him change poses. So I have this guy right here and let me expand this out. And I'm gonna go into states and you'll notice I have a normal state, which is he's not so happy. I have a medium state, kind of opens up a little bit, and then I have a happy state, now he's happy. I wanna create three different triggers that will adjust that state based off of that variable, the variable of happiness level. So the first thing I wanna do is create a trigger and we're gonna change the state of, that's kind of the end result here. And what are we gonna change? Well, that's gonna be Antonio. And we're first of all gonna change it to the normal state it's already started out as normal, but if they slide it up and then slide it down, I want it to make sure that it goes back to normal. So I'm gonna do that when the variable changes and which variable am I talking about? Well, that's the happiness level. And then I'm gonna click on show conditions here. I only want this to happen, the normal level, if the happiness level variable is between two different numbers. So I'm gonna click on this plus icon, go ahead and select happiness level. And instead of greater than, I'm not looking for greater than or equal to, which in this case, the normal one, you might be able to do uh, less than or equal to, but I'm gonna get between the two different numbers. Saying it needs to be greater than zero, but it actually needs to be less than, let's say three, for example. And then I'm going to click okay. Now what's gonna happen is it's going to add that trigger that's listening if that variable changes and if that variable is between zero and three, it's actually going to change it to, to three. Now, from here, I can actually just copy that and paste it two different times and then just change the values about the other triggers. So we wanna change the value to medium if the happiness level is actually between, let's go ahead and say four, and let's give the other number seven. If it's between four and seven, it's gonna to change to the medium level. Now from here, let's go ahead and say this is gonna to change to the happy level if it is seven or up to 10. All right, so between seven and 10, it's gonna to go to happy. Between four and seven, it's gonna to go to medium and between zero and three. So if no matter wherever that slider ends up, it's basically saying, I don't have to switch it or have 10 different layers. It's basically saying between these two different numbers, this is the state that it needs to be. All right, let's go ahead and preview this slide here and just make sure everything is working. You'll notice I have my normal state there. And as I start to slide up, Nothing really happens on the first couple ones, but as soon as I hit four, then it actually changes him to the medium level. And as soon as I hit seven or above, it's gonna change him to the happy level. So those triggers are essentially saying between these two different, or these three different numbers, or four, or whatever you did, between these two different numbers, um, if it's between those numbers, then change it to a certain state. And that's really, you know, there's a lot of possibilities there. You can change different objects, you can uh, update a score or a level or game progress or something like that just by saying, okay, between these two different numbers, this is what needs to happen. So that's how you adjust content and create a condition. And that condition is dependent upon if a variable is between two different numbers.